Today we're going to see how Thermal Pace compares to each other in 2023. We've got 10 of the best sellers on Amazon.co.uk and we're going to compare them against each other. We've got the likes of Arctic's MX Series from the MX6 all the way to the 4, even the Silver. We've got Noctua. We've even got Thermal Grizzly and a few others in there as well. Okay, let's start off with the test system. We're running an Intel i7 12700K processor. The motherboard is an MSI Z690A Pro motherboard with DDR5 memory. We're also running 4800 MHz RAM and the graphics card is a GeForce 3070 and we've got a Lexar NM800 SSD. All testing was done on the same machine, disconnected from the internet, running only the basic programs we needed for the testing, running the same versions, everything was exactly the same. Thermal place was applied the same on every single test, so we spread it completely over the CPU. And the cooler of choice was the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo, which is basically a dual fan cooler. So down to testing. So we tested all these pace on exactly the same machine. The only thing what was changed between each obviously run was the actual pace itself. We did three tests with each paste, each test taking 30 minutes and we got the average temperature over that time. The room temperature was constantly at 21 and a half degrees Celsius and the machine was in a shielded area with low airflow so there's no direct air or sunlight on it affecting any testing or anything along that line. Now, the pace we've tested are the top pace we could find listed on Amazon, hence these are the ones we've got. This year we've got the addition of the Arctic MX-6, which has performed very well in this test, coming out joint top with the NTH2 from Noctua. Coming in sort of third place-ish, we've got the NTH1, Thermal Grizzly, the Arctic MX-5, as well as SYY157, all performing all well. And to be honest, you probably struggle to see a difference between all those paces uh, and the general usage. A little bit behind, we've got the Arctic MX Silver and Arctic MX-5. Four at 72 degrees and then a little bit further behind you've got the Acasa paste uh, and then it gets even further behind when you go to the Essential paste and the StarTech paste which comes in a whopping 14 degrees difference between the Arctic MX-6. So in reality if you're going for any paste especially between the Arctic MX-6 and let's just say the Arctic MX-5 on the board and the SSY157 and so forth the Noctua ones as well, they're all absolutely fine. You're not going to probably notice a difference in real life situations. So I'd highly recommend any of those pastes. Obviously, if you want the best of the best, the H2 and the MX6 are probably the better ones on the listing. Where can you go and meet hundreds of people just like you? Strengthen existing relationships and forge new ones with vendors and distributors and meet some of the biggest names in the industry where you can go and see the newest tech and services that you need to make your IT business grow. And there'll be thousands of pounds worth of prizes up for grabs. Then what's more, you'll get that for a quid. TechMax 2023 will be on the 23rd of June at Magna Adventure and Science Centre near Meadow Hall in Sheffield. This event will be over four times larger than last year's event, and this year's event will incorporate a live tech award, dedicated meeting rooms, demo and interactive areas, and up to 800 other techs just like you. Get registered now at tftmax.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.